I'm Jeremy Kraft. I'm going to guide you step by step on how to change the fluid and the differentials on a Ford GPW or Willys MBG. Today we're going to be working on a Ford GPW dated 1942. I decided to show you that it is a Ford because I have a lot of people question the fact that it's a Ford. Let me just point out the windshield wipers too. These are really nice in a rainstorm. It's always nice to have a passenger with you if it's raining. But this is what the 1942 Ford GPW looks like. The Willys MB will look very similar. You can see a cross member in here. There's a Ford script. On the Willys MB, that cross tube there would have been round. And there's other minor differences. They look just alike other than little things like that. This is a 1944 Willys trailer. We'll just do a walk around. And it's always nice to have your helpers with you. There's my cat helper. For the job we're doing, all we're going to need is some good gear oil. GL5 is perfect for the differentials. Of course, a pump to put it in. This is the style of pump I choose. There's multiple styles. You'll need a 5 8 wrench, a half inch ratchet, and I choose to put on a little half inch extension. I think we could reach it without it, but I like a little bit. And Permatex thread sealant. To get started, let's go underneath the front bumper, and there it is right there, easy to get to. We're going to pull that red plug, that's the fill plug, and up underneath, and we'll talk about that here in just a minute, use high point oil only, is your drain plug. So. Let's get started with your 5 8 wrench. Just take this out. And we will clean those up here in a few minutes. Okay, let's drain underneath. Okay, we're going to take our half inch ratchet. With a little extension, we're going to put it on that plug underneath. It's hard to do this one-handed while holding a camera. Okay, I'm going to take the rest of it out by hand. Let's watch that nasty fluid pour out. We're going to let that pour out for a while and drain while I'm cleaning the plugs. And then we will put the plugs back and fill it. This is my helper. This is Solomon. He's my collie. He's not going to look at the camera today because he knows he's been naughty. He just got a bath yesterday and went to the vet. And after he got back, he went and got in a mud puddle. So he's ashamed of himself. While the front's draining, and I've got the plugs being cleaned, I've got them soaking in some degreaser. I'm going to go ahead and pull the plugs. I've got another drain pan. I've got two, so it'll work for me. I mentioned earlier that we were going to talk about this little sign that says, Use high point oil only. This is a high pressure gear system, and your GL5 is perfect for it. So... It's really nothing to worry about, and it basically has something to do with the location of the drive pinion. 
so you don't have anything to worry about there if you got modern day GL5 gear oil okay we're gonna start by taking out the lower plug it's hard for me to get the camera under here so I'm going to shift it this way okay and I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this one first this time and here we go once you get it pretty loose you can put your pan under it and start collecting this oil looks a lot better than the front while that's draining I'm gonna grab my 5 8 wrench and take the plug out I've already loosened it to make it quicker so all I need to do now is loosen it and I'll go clean these plugs up okay I've got the plugs cleaned with our Permatex thread sealant we're going to put some on the threads we're going to get it ready okay once we get it on we're going to smooth it with our finger and then put the drain plug in we're going to be at the front again since we drained it first okay so I'm going to smear that okay once we get a light coating all the way around it we're going to go ahead and put it in there screw it in as we're screwing it in go back and forth a little bit get that thread sealing in real well okay and take your tool and tighten it This is tapered so once you get it tight go about a quarter turn more don't go too tight that's about it there okay and we're going to fill it now okay now we're ready to pump the oil in so we're gonna simply just pump it in and when we just start to see it coming through the threads a little bit we're ready to stop okay as you can see the oil is just coming back out the hole we're filling so we're ready to take the pump out and put the plug in so let's stick our plug in the hole work it back and forth like I told you before get that thread sealing in there good and these plugs are again tapered so you don't want to go too tight with it so you don't break the the block to the differential 5 8 wrench and when you get it close go about a quarter turn more and that's about it on the rear differential Put your thread sealant on your drain plug and smear it around with your finger. All right, let's put our drain plug in. Same as the front, work it back and forth. that thread sealing in real good that's Ford red paint if you're wondering what color red I used and this is a 4 GPW 
I don't believe that Willie's MBs would have painted theirs red. I think only Ford did that, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, maybe you Jeep guys can leave me a comment down below. Okay, we're going to take our ratchet and tighten it. When it gets tight, go about a quarter turn more. And that's pretty snug. We're going to leave it about there. Okay, we're ready to fill it. All right, we're going to put thread seal on the last plug on the rear. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and insert it in the hole. And go back and forth again. I may have put a little too much thread sealing on this one. I'd rather have too much than not enough, though. Okay, and take your 5 8 wrench and tighten it up. And as soon as it gets tight again, okay, that's tight right there. Go about a quarter turn more. And that's perfect. Okay, we're going to take a paper towel and wipe up our excess and clean up what little oil we spill. And then we'll be ready to take it for a drive. 